Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jujitsu 2000 here today. I'm back, and today I've got an interesting video for you. I have a Coleman two burner propane stove. As you can see right now, it's dirty, but it appears to be in great condition. This was made in 1999. So, in this video, I'm going to clean this thing up and see if I can get it to work. So to get started, I have two screws on the side. So I'm just gonna take these guys out. So there's gonna be a total of four screws. And the whole purpose of me taking these screws out is so that I can clean this unit. To take these screws out, that's gonna let the splash guard inside come off. And that is the last one. So you can hear the splash guard inside dropped. So we'll go ahead and open this up open this this is the propane adapter and as you can see because I've taken those screws out the splash guard and everything dropped so everything is very open and now I can clean I just need to disconnect these small igniters and they plug in hopefully I can show this to you right down here in the bottom hopefully you can see that so that's where they plug in and I'm just going to unplug those one at a time. Come on, there we go. Very simple and now this whole assembly can come out and it can go in the bath. Now if you notice there's an owner's manual inside and it gives me the information about this unit. So very cool, I didn't expect to see that. So I'm going to go ahead and take this in the house in the kitchen sink. I'm going to wash it down. I'm going to bring it back out, put it back together, and we'll see what happens from there. It should be good to go. I don't think there's really a need to take these these uh, burner heads off and the flame rings. I don't think that's necessary. I just want to clean this stuff off, get the dust out, get the cobwebs out, get it nice and clean. And that's really all I got to do for cleaning. This thing's done and it's ready to go. It's ready to put back in, uh, put it back together and see if it works. So I've got everything back from the wash and it looks a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and put my earphones on here because I'm going to blow this with air and make sure that everything's dried before I put it all back together. I want to make sure all these air tubes and everything, they don't have cobwebs or things in them. Okay, now I want to show you inside the stove there, you see those two posts right there. That's one of those for each burner. Now, I want to make sure that when I put this in, that this corresponds, that they slip right over those two posts, these two right here. So I'm going to plug the wires in, and I'm going to make sure that those go into place where they're supposed to be. I get over here, plug these wires in. This is for the piezo ignition. And now, like I said a second ago, I'm going to make sure that those go right over those tubes where they're supposed to go. 
Okay, now I have both of those tubes in place. Now I can put these screws back in. Just lift this up until I see the hole. Get that one right there. So now I can snug these bad boys up. Doesn't have to be gorilla tight. Right there and right there. Tighten that bad boy. Again, doesn't need to be gorilla tight. Now the next step is I want to make sure that the piezo igniter throws a spark close to each burner. So I'm going to turn this clockwise. Saw a good spark there. And this one is not so close. So I'm going to kind of bend it just a little bit. There. So I'm looking to see the arc go from this wire to the burner. Perfect. And now let's check this one. I'm looking for a spark. I want to see if it arcs. So both burners are arcing very good. So at this point, I have the piezo igniter putting a good spark to each burner head. I'm going to put this adapter on. This is the propane adapter. Okay, but before I put this onto the stove, I'm going to put a drop of oil in there. A couple drops. That's just going to help lubricate. Make sure that these valves are turned off in the clockwise position. Stick that on. Okay, let me go ahead and install propane bottle. So this propane bottle sits just like so. And that's how the stove is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn both these burners on about a quarter of a turn and I'm going to hit that spark wheel. Boom. Look at that. I have both burners ignited. From here I can put the grate back on. Lay that bad boy down. And let's go ahead and test these flames. Turn this left one up on high. And this is good because it warms up everything. It'll dry everything. So we got good flame control there. Let's try this burner here. Oh yeah, this thing's working good. So there they are. They're both up as high as they'll go. Very nice. Now let's play with the flame control. Starting with this one. Looking good to me. Let's try this other one. Very nice, all the way down to a simmer. So honestly, I could have probably just cleaned this stove and put it back together. You know, I probably didn't even have to take it all apart. But I thought, you know, with it being such a nice stove, I wanted to go ahead and clean it up. I wanted to go ahead and get it going. And, uh, you know, this is something that's going to last me for a long, long time. It's just that little bit of TLC that these things require that helps make them last a lifetime. So what I want to do now is I'm going to get a pot and I'm going to do a quick boil test. Okay, here we have a little Stanley pot. I have 32 ounces of water here. This is room temperature water. It's been sitting out here in the shop. So we're on the left burner there. We're going to go ahead and cover it. We will start our time and let's crank this bad boy up. Let's see what kind of time it takes to boil this water. 32 ounces. I don't think it's going to take long. Maybe four or five minutes is what I'm guessing. So we'll see what happens. We are now at a rolling boil. I'm gonna stop the time. Five minutes and 15 seconds or so. Got a nice rolling boil. So this stove is working good. It's a very quiet stove. I hope you enjoyed this video, folks. This was a fun one. It's not every day that you find something like this for $10. It's well worth the money that I paid for it. Boy, that's a heavy rolling boil.
it's getting after it. Okay, this has had a chance to cool down a little bit. I'll put that in the back. I'll take this propane adapter and I'll put just a drop in there. That'll keep that o-ring nice and moist. That grate's still warm. Let's lower that grate down. Shut that bad boy. And that is officially a wrap for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you got some good useful information out of this video. Please feel free to leave your comments down below like this video, share this video, and until next time, hope you have a beautiful day. We'll see you then. Bye for now.